I'm here with Lori Arcetura. She's the director of the Lincoln City, Oregon Chamber of Commerce. How are you, Lori? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm awesome, and this is the woman to talk to, the place to go if you want to know what to do in Lincoln City or surrounding areas. What's happening very soon is the new Chowder Brewfest, correct? Yes, Chowder and Brewfest on September 9th. It's the biggest fundraiser that the, the Chamber puts on. Hope to see everybody there. We've got three great bands. We've got um, Zug Band, Curtis Salgado, which I, I think is a well-known name. He's awesome. It's all over Facebook already. Oh, good. And then Hit Machine, which is a fun dance band. Can't help but be on your feet. So being the director of the Chamber, I mean, okay, forget the eclipse, of the crowds that never happened. <laughs> And there were plenty of hotel rooms. Oh, but the eclipse was amazing. It was. Oh, it was incredible. It was. But what else do you think would bring people here, and why should they come to Lincoln City? Well, our beautiful scenery, our beaches, of course, are, are probably our number one um, draw. But we've also got a lot of fun events in town. A lot of things to do, and we've got all of, all of the information at the Chamber office to help you plan your trip or events to do while you're here. And what's also nice, too, is that cruising around the office, you've got all these flyers up in different things. And if the hotels are booked, you've got other places they can stay. I noticed one place, it was called, uh, I think it was Oregon Coast Dream Vacation. It's a house for rent, and you guys help out with that as well. Yes, we do. Yep, we get a lot of calls about where to stay, what to do while I'm here. So, yeah, we give out a lot of recommendations. The Oregon Coast Dream Vacation, yeah, that's a really good one. So what events do you have coming up, like anything for the holidays or Halloween or things and such? Well, um, besides the Chowder and Brew Fest, then of course Halloween, um, we always have fun events. We have spook alleys, the schools do a lot of events, the mall does free trick-or-treating for um, Halloween. You guys do a whole lot of stuff with the boosters and the, uh, the high schools for fundraising. We do. We support a lot of organizations here in town and it's a great way to support your business and get the word out there about what you do. We have a lot of really good networking opportunities. I do two radio shows per week. So that's a really good way to talk about you and your business and what you do. So don't forget, folks, if you want the best information, talk to Lori, Lincoln City Chamber of Commerce. Don't be a stranger. Remember, it's better at the beach. It is. Absolutely. Better at the beach. I'm here at Harry and David's, one of the best places to go to at the Lincoln City Outlet Mall. I'm here with my favorite friend, Jamel. This guy is always trying to get me to eat more than I need to. Jamel, how are you? I'm doing wonderful today. How about yourself? Talk to me about some favorites here. Uh, right now, we have a brand new favorite, which is actually our Butterfinger Bites. Wow. Moose Munch Popcorn that just came out. It's in stores now. It just came out about a week ago. That's pretty awesome. You know, a lot of people come here from all over the place. I just met a gal the other day who came here from Boise, Idaho, to shop at the mall. Love Harry and David's. The kids went crazy. Yeah. And somebody else from California that bought, uh, you know, vans like 60% off. This is an outstanding mall. Oh, yes, it is. And I'm, I'm happy to be here in Lincoln City. It is pretty crazy because uh, they were expecting, you know, 100,000 people for the eclipse. How busy were you? Uh, we were moderately busy. It wasn't uh, as we expected, but, you know, it still was a good turnout. So talk to me about some more specials you have here in the store. It's our pepper and onion relish that's uh, 3 for 18 right now, but it's a great dip that it makes out of our uh, cream cheese. And everybody comes and they know for the classic one that we have. But right now we're actually doing our peach because uh, this is our fruit of the month. So we're doing peach everything. We're featuring peach uh, tea, peach pepper and onion relish, and our peaches in the back actually right now, which are straight from the orchard. Wow, yeah, because a, uh, a lot of places do locally grown fruits, vegetables, even meats. It's pretty awesome here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So how long have you been around here? Uh, I've actually been in Lincoln City for about five months. Excellent. Yeah. And where'd you come from? From California. Uh, <laughs> another Cali. Yeah. yeah, a lot of relocating people from California. Yeah, but I worked for the company for about four years. Excellent. So uh, they just relocated me up here to try something new and bring some freshness to the Lincoln City. And you're outlet. doing that. Your attitude is awesome. We love you here. And uh, I'm going to get some goodies before I leave. All right. So don't forget, Harry and David's Lincoln City, the outlet ball.
I'm here with Bill Jean of the Chinook Winds Casino and Resort. Bill, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Just all excited about this eclipse. And what do you think about the uh, less than huge Armageddon, or Carmageddon, I should say, that happened? Well, I think it works out to our advantage because now we can relax and enjoy this event rather than it being way too much of a pressure. So I think it's fantastic that it, it ended up being the way it is. I agree. And I saw your other marketing person yesterday on the news, and she was saying there were still a few rooms left. Yeah, we actually still have a few rooms left. Uh, we're not uh, doing the high price thing, but uh, nice. we know that we're going to have a big cleanup afterwards. But unfortunately, it's not going to be as big as cleanup as we thought. So besides the Eclipse, it's a once-in-a-lifetime event here at Chinook Winds Casino. What else draws people here? I mean, you've got the best, obviously, casino resort. You're on the ocean. Great people, great food. Oh, I know. It doesn't get much better than that, but we bring in a lot of entertainment. We do a comedy on the coast once a month, which is fantastic. And then we do a lot of events uh, like the Beach Bacon and Brews right. and uh, the Pixie Fest and a lot of things that we try to attract people from out of town just to come out to Lincoln City. And didn't you recently do a car show as well? Was there something coming up? Oh, that's this next weekend. As a matter of fact, I'm doing a pedal car show the same time as we're doing the car show. So I'll be upstairs with a bunch of pedal cars. So it'll be the first time we're doing it, and we'll see how that goes. That's great. And what did you anticipate for the um, number of people to be here at Chinook this weekend? Well, that was up in the air. I mean, they, we usually get about 60,000 on a weekend like this, and we were expecting possibly twice that. But since we didn't end up with it, we're okay with that. We're still going to enjoy the weekend, and hopefully our guests will enjoy what's going on. Well, I'd say I talked to a couple of employees and they're really thrilled to be here because they were expecting, again, an overload of people. And this way nobody runs out of food, nobody, everybody has a great time. Yeah, there's a lot less pressure with uh, so less people coming in that we expected. So I think everyone's going to enjoy the event rather than being stressed out about it. So just touching on the casino real quick, is there events coming up that pe people can get like extra play in different slots and contests? As a matter of fact, they're doing a swipe and win today just for the people that are here. We got some Chotskis, some t-shirts like with this one I'm wearing right now. Nice. And some uh, Frisbees and some other stuff that uh, kind of helps uh, the event that uh, shows that they've been here and enjoy the event. So there's a big swipe and win today. So folks, don't forget, Chinook Winds Casino Resort and Hotel Lincoln City. Ask for Bill. <laughs> yeah, have a good time and it's better at the beach. Better at the beach. I'm Robert Vincent. I'm here with Doug, who owns Prehistoric. What an amazing place. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming today. Tell me about it. Prehistoric is a uh, really cool shop that I started uh, almost 30 years ago. We actually opened up here in Lincoln City two and a half years ago, and we specialize in the world's finest fossils, minerals, and meteorites. We also have a really extensive kids' toy section. We have geode cracker, and we also now have a jump sluice. Very cool. And this is Baby Rex, you were saying? That is Baby Rex. That's a life-size Baby T-Rex. And what do you have to say for us, Baby Rex? <laughs> very nice, very nice. So how often do you open? What are your hours? And does it change all the time? Or We are open uh, 363 days a year. We close Christmas Day and Thanksgiving. Other than that, we are open all year long. We're open by 8.30 in the morning, and we close generally between 5 and 6 o'clock. Do you do personal tours or is just going to come in and check it out yourself? Oh, no, it, it's definitely, uh, we do offer tours for, for larger groups uh, with a little bit of notice. Generally, if we have a two or three day notice, we can accommodate groups of five people to a hundred people. Well, now, what do you and Baby Rex think about what was supposed to be a phenomenal eclipse weekend? You know what? The, uh, the traffic is a lot lower than we thought it was going to be, but I have to tell you, it's been a really great weekend. The people that have come to this town this weekend have been phenomenal. Uh, a lot of science nuts, a lot of yeah. geeks, a lot of fun, fun people. So it's really been an exceptional weekend for us. Well, I know that everybody raves about your place. When I have guests coming from out of town, I talked to some folks from Portland earlier that came in your place. They've never seen anything quite like it. And they were saying that it actually changes daily. Yes, uh, I, I, my slogan kind of is, uh, we're always evolving. And every day you come in, we have something different, something new, something exciting. And uh, you can't come in here two days in a row and not see something different. There's so much to see here, folks. Don't forget, prehistoric, ask for Doug and Baby Rex. Thank you for coming. Thank you.